Crown Prince Moulay El Hassan of Morocco celebrates his 21st birthday in Rabat. Queen Margrethe of Denmark unveils the new peacock curtain at the Pantomime Theater in Copenhagen. Princess Caroline of Hanover visits the Prince's Carabineers in Le Monaghetti. And King Charles III and Queen Camilla of the United Kingdom host a royal garden party in London. All this and much more coming up next on your Royal Daily News. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're doing well. My name is Alexandra, and welcome to your Royal Daily News for Wednesday, May 8th, 2024. In London, Their Majesties, King Charles III and Queen Camilla of the United Kingdom hosted the first Royal Garden Party of the Year this afternoon at Buckingham Palace. Also attending today's party were their Royal Highnesses, the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, Her Royal Highness, the Princess Royal, and their Royal Highnesses, the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester. According to Buckingham Palace, the annual garden parties are an important way for members of the royal family to, quote, speak to a broad range of people from all walks of life, all of whom have made a positive impact in their community, end quote. In Madrid, Their Majesties, King Felipe VI and Queen Letizia of Spain presided over a commemoration ceremony on the occasion of the bicentennial of the Policia Nacional a Palacio Real de Madrid. According to the Royal Court of Spain, the Policia Nacional was established by royal decree on January 13, 1824. Quote, The historical precedent of the police institution, the first police force with a national dimension, with the function of guaranteeing public good and security, end quote. This morning, Her Royal Highness, Princess Caroline of Hanover, arrived at the headquarters of the Prince's Carabineers in Le Monaghetti to present a cycling jersey to Chief Marshal Frederic Stoppa. Chief Marshal Stoppa will participate in the upcoming charity bike race from Monaco to Montauban, France, beginning on May 13th. The purpose of the 711-kilometer race is to raise money for the benefit of the 17th Parachute Engineer Regiment Association, which aids, quote, military families and, in particular, their children, end quote. The princess is patron of the 17th Parachute Engineer Regiment Association. The princess also presented a check worth 5,000 euros from the organization Ahmad Monaco to Mr. Stopa, which will go directly to the 17th Parachute Engineer Regiment Association. The princess is the president of Ahmad Monaco. The departure of the Monaco Montebon charity bike race will take place at 2 p.m. at the headquarters of the Prince's Carabineers in Le Monaghetti. And just on a side note, for those of you who don't know, <clears throat> in Monaco there are several districts or wards, and Le Monaghetti is one of them. It's probably one of the most charming districts, in my opinion, in all of Monaco, next to Monacoville. But Monacoville can get a bit too touristy, but Le Monaghetti is cute. I really like it. In Copenhagen, His Majesty, King Frederick X of Denmark, held an audience with the Speaker of the Parliament of the Republic of Lithuania, Ms. Victoria Nielsen, and the Speaker of the Parliament of the Kingdom of Denmark, Mr. Soren Gade, at Klish in the Seventh Palace at Emelianborg. Meanwhile, Her Majesty, Queen Margrethe of Denmark, presided over the unveiling of the new Peacock Curtain at the Pantomime Theatre at the historic Tivoli Gardens in the heart of Copenhagen. The new Peacock Curtain is made from highly durable canvas, tailored and hand-painted according to Queen Margrethe's own drawings and instructions. Known for her vibrant artistic expression, the Queen chose green, purple, and bluebird colors for the 32-square-meter curtain, which was unveiled on the occasion of the 150th anniversary celebration of the Pantomime Theater. 
When asked about taking on the task of designing the new curtain, the Queen replied, quote, Ever since my childhood visit to Tivoli Gardens, I've been captivated by the magic of the peacock curtain. The concept itself is both wondrous and enchanting. It has been an exciting challenge to create an updated version now that the old one is no longer viable. I approach the task with great respect for the original concept, and it's for others to judge my success. It has certainly been an inspiring and enjoyable project. End quote. After the unveiling, Queen Margreta and guests enjoyed a classic scene featuring Piero, Harlequin, and Columbine. The Tivoli Youth Guard also contributed to today's celebrations by playing Congratulations, with Piero rallying the guests to cheer loudly on the occasion of the Pantomime Theater's milestone anniversary. On June 22nd, the Pantomime Theater will debut a new ballet performance of Hans Christian Andersen's tale, Clumsy Hans. I have to say, the new peacock curtain looks absolutely amazing. Wow. I hope to see it soon. In Oslo, His Royal Highness, Crown Prince Haakon of Norway, accompanied by the Prime Minister of Norway, presided over a commemoration ceremony at Akershus Fortress on the occasion of Liberation Day and National Veterans Day. On May 8, 1945, the Kingdom of Norway was liberated after five years of occupation by the Nazis during World War II. Since the end of the war, over 100,000 Norwegian men and women have participated in more than 100 international operations in the fight for democracy and human dignity. Liberation Day and National Veterans Day is a time to honor and pay tribute to all the veterans who have contributed to freedom, independence, and peace through their service to Norway from the time of occupation until today. During this afternoon's ceremony, the Crown Prince placed a wreath at the foot of the National Monument, witnessed a fly past over Akershus Fortress, listened to speeches, and presided over a medals presentation. On a side note, if you're interested in watching a film about the invasion of Norway, which happened on April 9, 1940, there's a wonderful film called Kongen's Nye. It's one of my favorites. And it tells the story of King Haakon VII and Crown Prince Olaf and the Norwegian royal family. Um, I did a film review last year. I think it was March last year, which you can watch in the link above. And I will also leave a link where you can watch the film. It's really good. Okay, moving on. In Almira, Her Majesty Queen Maxima of the Netherlands carried out a working visit to Ronja House of the Blythe Group. The Blythe Group provides support, care, and shelter for women who are victims of DA. During the visit, the Queen spent time talking with employees and residents. The Queen was also given a tour of the facility, which includes, quote, an emergency bed area for crisis cases, and visited an apartment where she spoke with a resident and her regular aide about living at a Rania house. The Queen also visited the daycare center, Kinderwerk. And finally, His Royal Highness, Crown Prince Moulay El Hassan of Morocco, is celebrating his 21st birthday. Born at the Royal Palace in Rabat, the Crown Prince is a son of His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco and his ex-wife, Lala Salma. Over the past several months, the Crown Prince has been carrying out numerous solo engagements, including the recent opening ceremony of the 16th edition of the International Agricultural Exhibition of Morocco in Meknes. And there you have it. Thank you all so much for joining me this afternoon. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. I will be back tomorrow on Thursday, May 9th, with all the latest royal news and events. Until then, I sincerely wish each and every one of you a wonderful afternoon. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, comment below, and click on the notification bell so you won't miss a new episode. Have a wonderful afternoon, everyone, 
and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.